When NATO created uh, CMRE in 1959, that was during the middle of the Cold War. Research at the center at the time was focused on underwater acoustics, anti-submarine warfare, and military oceanography. But in the 60 years uh, that CMRE has served NATO, we have tried to maintain the technological edge in the maritime domain. The people here come from all the NATO nations. In fact, we have 20 different nations represented in our staff. They do research in their areas of interest. It could be oceanography, artificial intelligence, big data tools. And after they leave here, they go back to their nation and then continue their research and hopefully send other people back here. In addition to scientists, we also have visiting researchers. For example, right now we have several students from the French Naval Academy. But that's the point of CMRE, is for people from different nations to come and collaborate and then go back home to their nation to continue their research. As nations continue to develop autonomous systems, they're going to need a place where they can come and test their systems to certify that they're capable of operating autonomously and with other nation systems. And I think CMRE is in a perfect place to do that. In order to take our science to sea, we use either the Alliance or the Leonardo, the two NATO research vessels that we own. The Alliance was specifically designed to do underwater acoustics research. She's one of the quietest ships in the world. Our other ship, the Leonardo, is a smaller ship, but she provides easy access to the sea for research projects and engineering trials. Both of our ships are crewed by the Italian Navy, which means that our scientists and engineers have close working relationships with the Italian Navy crew to get their experiments done. We also have number of uh, unmanned autonomous underwater systems, such as 21-inch Bluefin and also the OEX systems. Those are our, I would say, our primary platforms. But we also have the Remus and the Efolaga and the Sparus, uh, smaller sort of manned portable unmanned systems. Janus, uh, as you know, is the Roman god of portals and gateways, but we also used it to name uh, the digital underwater communication standard that we developed here at CMRE over 10 years of working with industry and academia and the nations. And it's sort of like a Google Translate for underwater modems. Taking science to sea is, is really expensive and it's very hard, and most nations can't afford to do that. So, for example, we've been going to the Arctic pretty much every summer for the last several years. And when we go, we take seven or ten different uh, nations or institutions go with us. By able to collaborate with all these different nations and take things to the north on the Alliance it is a real benefit from CMRE. It's very important that we are able to take our systems and our science to the operators in their environment, in their operational environment, so that they can understand and not be afraid of the systems, the new technologies that are coming their way. Someday, there will be autonomous systems in every field of the military, and it's very important that the soldiers and sailors and airmen trust these systems. So CMRE is very much in the path of building trust between the operators and these new technologies that are coming. It's really important to me for young people to be involved with the science, technology, engineering, mathematics, or STEM fields. And that's how we continue to maintain our technological edge, is by having young people interested in STEM. So it's very exciting to me that the high schools here in La Spezia have an intern program where the juniors and seniors go out and work doing projects in different industries. We worked with a school system so that CMRE could be one of those places where students could come and do their research projects. For 60 years, CMRE has conducted research in support of NATO's maritime requirements. And that has only been possible because the NATO nations send staff with their important expertise in science, technology, and support areas. But more importantly, these staff bring their motivation, their enthusiasm, and their can-do attitudes. And for that, I'm extremely honored and grateful to work with the CMRE staff.